Hey there, it's Tawana Floyd with Acting Lessons Learned, and I'm going to share two instances or scenarios about an audition that I just had. Here we go. Acting Lessons Learned. I just had an audition for a commercial, and I got to work with a child. Now, I got to tell you, working with children, they always say, never work with a kid because they'll upstage you. That's not always the case. Sometimes you go to audition with a kid, and they don't like what they're doing. They don't like acting. And so because they don't like acting, they don't really show up in the room. And it's really um, exhausting for the adult or any of the other people in the room who are having to audition with this kid because as the adult, it's kind of put upon us to make sure that the kid performs, to wrangle them in, to make them hit their marks, to almost make them your own child. And it's exhausting. And it also messes, it affects your performance. So it really sucks to have to work with a child who doesn't like, who doesn't particularly like acting. And a lot of times, kids who don't like acting, they're put, it, they're put into it because their parents want them to get college money. And I'm not mad at that. There's nothing wrong with that. But what is wrong with it is when your kid doesn't like it and now they're just taking up space. They're taking up a time slot for a kid who really do love loves acting. And they're also ruining the audition process for everybody else. And so for me, I get very excited when I get to work with a child who actually loves auditioning. And so I just worked with this young kid um, I won't say his name, it's a child, right? But I just worked with this young kid and he was lovely. 10 years old, um, once we were paired up, because once you get into the audition room, you find out who you're gonna be working with. And so once we were paired up, his mother, you know, introduces herself and she's talking to me and talking to him. And she's like, oh, do you, and she's talking to him really. And she's like, do you wanna run in lines? Do you wanna ask her if she wants to run in lines? But I overhear this and I say, yeah, I can, you wanna run lines? And he's like, sure. We run the lines. I can tell he's already got it. He doesn't need to run it a lot of times because a lot of times also for kids, they don't need to keep running it because then it kind of like gets stuck in their, they, they get stuck in the cadence. So you don't want to have them run it a lot of times. But for this uh, particular, uh, let me turn the corner. For this particular audition, this kid had it. And so, you know, I'm talking to him. I'm ask, I asked him if he knew what a button was. And I realized I should have given him more clarity because he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, so, you know, I'm going to button the scene. And he's like, oh, no, I don't know what that means. And I was like, I'm sorry. I, should, <laughs> I shouldn't assume. Uh, yes, a regular button. So we laughed. And so I explained to him a button is at the end of the scene. I'm going to either say something or give a look. But either way, I'm going to say something and I'm going to walk off. And so his mother goes, oh, you know, you follow her. So if she walks off, make sure you, you walk with her. And he's like, okay, we get into that room. This kid did such a wonderful job. I was so happy to work with him. And uh, he took direction well. He wasn't shy. He wasn't bratty. He wasn't exhausted or, or tired. He was right there, attentive, alert, and ready to deliver. And that's just such a joy. It's such a treat to be able to work with kids who really enjoy it. Uh, I almost want to say like to parents who have kids in the industry and if your kid doesn't love it, you should maybe let them sit it out until they do love it because basically you're running around town burning up gas for nothing. They're probably not going to book as much as, as you'd like them to, if at all. But for bravo and kudos to the children and the parents whose kids love acting. Um, and then another thing I wanna talk about, I was fortunate to have a really good director. So this was the callback, and at the callback, you pretty much do the same thing you do in the original audition, except now um, you're working with the director. And so the director is going to give you some feedback, a redirect on how they'd like to see things. Now, most times, directors aren't really friendly or kind um, and I would say that's probably like 80 to 90 percent of the time a lot of times they they speak to actors kind of tersely or brusquely and kind of expect us to know what they're thinking because they're not communicating in ways that we can respond to 
Uh, so, you know, it's just part of the, it's just part of what it is. So every once in a while, when I get a really great and kind director, like this woman, we walked in, me and the little guy, the, the little boy, we walked into the room. She was sitting on the couch. And so when you do callbacks, sometimes the room is full of people because um, it could be the director. It could be the producer of the commercial. It could be the agency of the commercial. It could be the clients. So they're all in there working, but the only person that, who can talk to the actor is the director. And when you walk in, they're kind of like doing business um, in between takes. Sometimes they just met for the first time. So it seems like it's a little rude or off-putting when they don't speak right away. But usually the director will speak to you before you start to shoot your first scene. Um, if they're, if they're a caring director, not always, it doesn't always happen. So in this particular instance, I walked in, the woman was sitting on the couch with a gentleman. I could tell they were talking business. It was very intimate and it wasn't like joking around or anything. And so I didn't, usually when I walk into a room, I'll just give a blanketed warm hello. And um, because they looked like they were talking business, I didn't do that. So instead I just waited, you know, I put my things down and when it came time for us to do the scene, she um, greets us. And she was like, hello, thanks for coming in. Sorry, we were talking. Um, didn't mean to be rude. What? Never really have a director who does that. So then we do, you know, the first take. The first take is pretty much yours. They'll, they'll tell you how they want to see it, but it's pretty much yours. And then from there, you get redirects. So at each redirect, she gave cogent directions on exactly what she wanted to see that was actionable and 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 easy to understand and comprehend for both me and the little boy and she was just kind so it was lovely to be in a room with someone whether I get the job or not that was a nice little nugget nugget moment to take into my weekend and feel like I was seen that I was taken care of um, and that somebody cared to even just be kind. It goes a long way. So I hope that helps you. If you found this audition vlog helpful, drop a comment and let me know that you like these types of things and then I'll keep posting them. In the meantime, if you're not already, subscribe, like, follow, hit the notification bell because I'm still figuring out my production schedule. So as of now, I'm just posting things sporadically and you'll just want to have the notification bell to let you know that I've dropped the video until I get really consistent at it. I'm still working my way around it. In the meantime, you can check out one of the videos on the screen and I'll see you soon.